So the queen, she doesn't literally cut your head off, right? It's more of a figurative thing. She does. Jesus. Hello. Aiden Fitzpatrick, how are you, mate? You are one of my best players, mate. No, no, no. See, the problem is that you're a right winger, and I don't have a left winger that's currently fit that I can play with you. So my hands are tight. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go to the queen. That's silly talk, mate. Uh, how would you feel about playing as a number 10? Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome to episode 4 of the Impossible Dream with Queen of the South as we look to win the Champions League with our Scottish club. And today, big games in the Scottish Championship against relegation threatened jointly with us uh, at the moment, Wraith Rovers. And then a team that absolutely played us off the park when we played them last time, our Broth. And well, we'll be able to see if any progress has been made when we face them in the second game today. But the big, I wouldn't even say it's news, but issue even since last episode involves Aidan Fitzpatrick. He is undoubtedly one of our better players. The issue is that he's a winger and he is the only winger at the club. And that raises an issue obviously because it, it it's difficult to play wingers a winger on just one side. It's going to leave us unbalanced and he wants to play, rightly so. He should want to play. He's a very, very good player. So the compromise that I think we're going to have to make here is playing him as a number 10. Can he do it? He can't really pass. He's, oh, he's not bad at passing for this level, I suppose. Decent vision. Dribbling is decent. So I'm hoping he can. And we're going to find out this episode because we have to play him. We can't afford to lose him. Uh, Lawless will be back at some point, And that will then give us the option of playing with wingers again once we have somebody on that left-hand side that is somewhat reliable. Now, there are some games to catch you up on since last episode, obviously. The first of which is in the Challenge Cup, the Wafer Cup against Pardick Thistle. So a team from our division. They beat us when we played them in the league. Let's see what we could do to them in the cup. We went ahead when Fitzpatrick and Cassidy caught Pardick on the break. And Owen Hunter sealed the tie on the boo. So away from home, a really, really good performance this one. I was very pleased with it. Uh, comfortable 2-0-ish. Uh, you can see XG was kind of even. Uh, and we may have found ourselves another centre-back option. Hunter, who got the winner, played an 8 at the centre of our defence. He's only a youngster, 17. He's listed for loan. No one's come in for him. So we gave him a game in this one. He did well. He did well. He lacks pace. He lacks positioning. He lacks bravery. He lacks a lot of things. But what he did is is play okay against a team from our league. So that was um, that was excellent. Next up, it was one of the top teams or the teams towards the top of our league right now. It was Air United. So let's see how that uh, how that one went. We fell behind inside a minute, and the points were lost when Air added a second. So we were thoroughly, thoroughly outplayed in this one. And it was really disappointing after a couple of good results. I thought we would, you know, maybe we could go and challenge. Uh, and a win here, I think, would have really pushed us up the table. But obviously, it's a six-pointer. Instead of gaining three, we lost three. We didn't play particularly well. You can see we never really threatened them, although we did have the higher XG of the two teams. Um, yeah, they missed a penalty as well. They could have scored more. So disappointment, obviously, with this one. Next up, it was a big game in the league. Another team that's down there with us, Granick Morton. We've beaten them once this season. Let's see if we could beat them twice. We went ahead in the second half through a Harry Cochran stunner. Before DeBeo crossed the Cassidy to seal the points. So a really, really good win this one. A really, really good performance as well. And it was the two C's that I think could be crucial in us staying up. Cochran and Cassidy. What about that strike from Cochrane? Swanson was back to his best as well in this one. And we absolutely smashed them. 29 shots to two. They had nothing on target. We missed a penalty through Little as well early on. It was, I'm going to probably say, probably our best performance. Even above and beyond that uh, Dunfermline game last episode. Our next game was against Hamilton. Now, last time we played them, we had to come from 4-0 down to snatch a draw and a stunner. Let's see what happened this time. The only goal came late when Todd crossed for Roy. 
We deserve to win the game. We probably deserve to win it by more. To be honest, you can see that we had two goals disallowed. We had a lot of shots, struggled to get them on target. But a rotated side. Hunter came back in to play this one. Uh, McGrory was in midfield with Joseph. Patton was up front. Uh, yeah, just uh, for the first time this season, we had a little bit of fixture pile up. But uh, we brought Roy off the bench and he did what he does best, to be honest. And that is stick the ball in the back of the net with his head. Final game to catch you up on was another team that was down there. Some big games here. Although well, the last three or four games have all been uh, teams in the bottom half of the table. It was Kilmarnock. Let's see how that went. Ewan East gave us the lead. But Kilmarnock equalized late on. So a game of two penalties. I thought we did enough to win this one. Again, it was a rotated side. Ewan East playing as a number 10. Just purely uh, out of lack of options. And... Yeah, we probably we probably should have taken all three points. Obviously, a late penalty is always disappointing. But uh, anyway, we got a point, and that is not too bad. Th I think the mission for this season, it is just making sure we stay in the league. And you can see from the league table there, we're four points clear of any sort of relegation trouble uh, in terms of a playoff. Today, we're playing Wraith, who are bottom of the league. So this adds a big one. And then it is our Broth, who are top. So we get to test ourselves <laughs> against both ends of the table. You can see Scottish Cup, we've got our first round draw against East five which i believe are a league one side division below us yeah so i wouldn't mind the cup run but we'll see how we go uh we go in that and the wafer cup we've got queen's park in the quarterfinals there we won't worry too much about this if we get to a semi-final maybe but it's definitely a final if we were to get that far we would uh we'd start taking it very very seriously at that point but let's have a look and see what we're doing here in our first game against bottom of the table wraith and you can see we're expecting a 4-4-2. There's a little bit of dysfunction in their uh, matchups there, but you would expect that for a team that's struggling. This is the team we're sending out. We are coming out the other end of our fixture congestion. Joseph, as I'm just seeing there, has got a heavy game load. I wonder if we stick Josh Todd in there. Don't change a winning team, they to say, don't they? But uh, here we are. And do we want to take Roy out? No, let's let's leave. Let's not tinker too much. All right, so it's Eastwood in goal. It's DeBayo and TD. It is McKay and Swanson as the back four. Little with Cochran and Todd in midfield. Fitzpatrick in the experimental number 10 role. And then it is Roy and Cassidy going up top. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. John McGlynn is the uh, is the manager. That is, that's definitely the rip-off version of John McGinn, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he was made in China, I believe. Uh, but Christoph Berra is in their teams. There's a couple of, uh, well, one big name anyway. Um, he's got to be ancient, though, at this point. Berra, doesn't he? Let's have a look here. What do we say? We're the favourites for a reason. We owe them. Now, they did beat us 1-0 last time. Let's just go out there and play our natural game. But if I remember correctly, in that game against Wraith last time, we were very unlucky not to, well, not to win it. Never mind, come away with nothing. So hopefully... Uh, we'll make amends for that here. We're at home this time as well. So it just, I guess, adds a little bit of expectation. But the big thing here is how does Fitzpatrick do in that number 10 role? We need to play him. We don't... We don't I mean, you and East can play on that left-hand side. But ideally, Fitzpatrick will be an absolute... Oh, there's a great ball through for Cassidy. Was he on side? He was. I tell you what, Fitzpatrick, natural number 10. Always said it. What a start this is in the fourth minute. And Cassidy... He's going to be key, I think. Cassidy and Cochran, they are, I'd say, our two best players, although Fitzpatrick will have something to say about that. And Connolly, if you want to go with the three seed, when he comes back, well, he's not going to be back this season, though, is he? He was 9 to 11 months, so he's, yeah, unlikely to be back this season. How close was it? He's done brilliantly, has he? Yes, to keep himself on side. And the McGlynn side is behind, which is uh, what we wanted to see. It's always, it's always weird playing bottom of the table, isn't it? Because the expectation here is that we really do need to win. But the Bayo's got a bit of a knock. Now, what sort of a knock was that? I'd love to say, did anybody see? But it's not going to do me any good. Because even if you did, <laughs> you have no way of telling me. And Titi with a ball forward there for Fitzpatrick. Oh, I missed it over there again. We have Cooper on the bench, so we might just make a change. There's a good ball forward for Swanson. Cassidy's in the box. Can he find him? He crosses it in. Goalkeeper makes the save. And I think Fitzpatrick... Did Fitzpatrick block the shot? DeBayo, here we go back the other way. All right, DeBayo's injury is a tight hamstring, so that's only going to get worse. So Cooper can come on for him. Let's hope he has a decent game. 
not always been the most convincing has old coops off the well not off the bench on the bench starting he's just not particularly always been convincing but he should he's he's got some good attributes he should be especially if we're playing in that wing back role he should be quite good now what's fitzpatrick done he is coming back his uh, he hasn't got the little First aid uh, cross there either. Here we go. Cochrane in some space. Ball forward for Cassidy. Cockles to penalty. It's got to be. Tasungi has uh, dragged him down. And it's Little who has a mixed record to say the least from the penalty spot. I think he's about 50%. Scored two. Missed two. And this time he sticks it away. That's 2-0 late in the first half. And that will hopefully be enough to get us the three points against a team that surely... It's going to be low on confidence sitting at the bottom of the table with a negative 20 now goal difference. That's a good penalty. And as I say, you can't always say that about Lidl's penalty taking, but that was a good one. Uh, pulled Groin for Fitzpatrick, so we will make a change. He's got his start. That should keep him happy. Uh, we want to point our finger. And we want to say don't get complacent. And we want to make that sub. We will bring on Mc glory and then we can move todd up back forward into that number 10 role so that's all fine and we'll get back out there and really it's one of these isn't it as long as we don't get complacent there's seen nothing from them in the first half that suggests they're going to get one goal never mind two and cochran is what's cochran got cochran's just tied okay well cooper's got a knock now jesus can we have a left back that's fit, please? If he has to come, we'll have if he has to come off. We'll have to move Swanson. Even I mean, even if it's I mean, if it's an injury, DeBeo should be okay because we took him off relatively quickly. Swanson could go over and play on that left hand side if we need in future games. Um, and then we have Max Johnson on the bench, who is the promising fullback that we have on loan from Motherwell. So we should have a way around that. That's a cracking ball in. And um, well, it's never apparently easy, is it? 2-1. What we don't want to do is uh, find ourselves dropping points here now. Cooper, was he a little slow getting across? McKay, he's just not a centre-back, is he? Let's give it a focus. And... Let's see if we can go and wrap this up. Swanson, ball in, Cochran's, oh, he's missed it. It's the sort of chance we did come to expect Cochran to take. He is absolutely destroyed, so we will have to take him off, I think. He's got nothing left to give. So we'll make that sub. We'll move these guys back to fullbacks uh, just on support. We don't, need, uh, we don't need them bombing forward. The other thing we could do... Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? He's our out ball, which is why I say it doesn't matter, because the uh, strikers have defensive duties. We're into stoppage time. Let's close it down. And hopefully we are going to see this out. Let's uh, let's close up those lines as well. Come on, boys. This will be a big three points if we can get it. We've scraped ourselves across the line. 2-1 in the end. A little penalty. Cassidy's early goal as well. And... Jackal and Hyde, there's a bit of a let-off. We need to be better against better opposition, and we're facing better next. We can see the other scores there. We have stayed in sixth. We, we, we've we moved further away, though. We can maybe start looking at the playoffs. Only four points behind uh, some of those other teams there now. Injury worry for Connolly, so that's one of their guys. DeBeo is only two to three days. Cooper's only a bruised ankle. And, uh, yeah, that's good. So no shortage of goals for Queen of the South. So that's good. Uh, that is looks as though the fans are enjoying it. Wait right there, though, guys. We'll be back to face our growth. And this is a big, big test for us. Top of the table, of course. Okay, welcome back. We're getting ready to face our growth. And we're going to have to do it, unfortunately, without our first choice goalkeeper, Jake Eastwood. He's got a tight calf. He could play if we were really, really desperate. But I don't want to risk 
further injury with him to be honest so we'll sit him on the bench for this one and it means our backup goalkeeper will need to get the start but let's have a look at what we're doing here it's a 4-4-2 that we're expecting from our growth and this is the team we're sending out so it's ray the backup goalkeeper that comes in for this one he's solid enough at this level um he, he should hopefully anyway be okay it's the bayo it's chima coming in now the reason that he has to come in is because we're missing players international duty uh and titi is away with tanzania so that's a little, and he's developing quite nicely, isn't he? But that's a little bit of a blow for us that we're missing him. So Chima comes in to partner McKay with Swanson going as the right winger or wing back even. It's Little Cochran and Joseph coming back in. It's uh, Fitzpatrick staying at the number 10 with Roy and Cassidy continuing up top for us. And uh, well, top of the league. Let's see what we can do to him. All right. So we can see the team sheets there. Liam Henderson, I think I tried to get him on loan from Celtic this season i'm not sure if it's the same henderson anyway uh let's have a look here what do we want to say we're on a good run let's keep it going i can get on board with that um yeah pump our fists and see just see what we can do with nothing really to lose you know if we're if we're looking at us at being in a, a battle to stay in the league maybe sneak into a playoff place then playing against top of the league harry cochran is exhausted he shouldn't be playing this. um yeah, then the, this is a game that is a bit of a free hit for us away from home as well. So let's just uh, let's just see what we can do. We're gonna have to take Cochrane off at half time, aren't we? He shouldn't he shouldn't be starting this game. Uh, not much happening, which is good because it means the goalkeeper's not being tested, and we know that our goalkeeper probably doesn't want to get tested. Here we go with McKay forward to nobody, and here come our Broth the other way. If we are any chance of hoping to do more than, uh, you know, stay in this league for next season, i.e. win that this season, we have to win this game. If they were to get any further ahead of us, then obviously it starts to get difficult. There's a decent ball for Roy. Has he stayed on side? Does he have a finish? It's over the bar. Not a mile away, though. Let's give them some encouragement. Gaston. That doesn't look the best. Can we win that? No, we can't. And what can Chima do? He gets it back. Cassidy gets a toe in. Cochran picks it up. And let's see if we can get him on the break here. Fitzpatrick. What's he got? Down the line for Cassidy. Turns inside nicely. Cochran to Little. Little across for McKay. McKay. Swanson's making a run. Can we find it? No, he comes short again. Swanson to Joseph. Joseph goes back to McKay. McKay to Joseph to Fitzpatrick. To Cassidy. Oh, Cochran. Oh, Goads went to make a run, then stopped. Here it is back for Cassidy, though. Roy Cassidy. No, it's back to DeBeo. Is it Roy Cassidy? What's his first name? Oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. It was a foul on Fitzpatrick, and it's going to be Little. And can he stick in the way? He usually misses every second one. Come on, mate. Please, 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 please. Oh, he's got that away. Excellent stuff. 1 0 away to the league leaders. It's Ben Little with the penalty. And. Well, dare we dream. Dare we dream. Little took his chance nicely. Excellently done. And I'm looking at Cochrane there. He is essentially essentially a, a, a zombie, isn't he, out there? He's just <laughs> walking around. Come on, get that away. Oh. Five minutes before the break. It's okay, Harry. You're coming off at half time, mate. Just get to the end of the half for me. There we go. All right. 1-0 against the league leaders. We would have taken that coming into this one. So let's point our finger again. Let's... Um, no complacency in the performance. A demotivated Ryan Cassidy. He's probably demotivated because I don't know his name. There we go. Say he's rubbish. Suddenly he becomes motivated again. Uh, let's fist pump. Let's say everybody else is uh, okay. And we want to take Cochrane off. It's going to have to be for McGrory. Or do we put Todd on? Though Todd was quite rubbish last game playing as a Mazella, wasn't he? He was only really good enough. I've thought about playing Fitzpatrick as a Mazella. So I'll get him drifting wide right. The problem, I think, is just defensively. I don't think you can play him in sort of the center of the park proper. Um, all right, so let's do that. Cochrane can have a rest. Let's get back out there and see if we can hold on for a massive, massive three points. It would be nothing short of massive. Come on, boys. Come on. 
just keep praising them. Arguably, we've been outplayed again because we've got a penalty on that XG. We've only had six shots. But we seem to be closing them down quite well. All right, let's make a change. Cassidy's looking tired and he's not having his best game. Let's get Patton on up top for him. And we have a highlight. DeBeo with a throw. Goes for Patton. In there for McGrory. The two subs linking up. Back for Patton. He's got a little bit of space in the box. Oh. Should he have done a little bit better with that chance, perhaps? It opened up for him. Here we go. Swanson with a throw. Rory brings it down. Rory to Joseph. Back to Little. To McKay. Oh, he makes me nervous on the ball. Here we go with Chima. Little. Back to Chima. Wide there for McGrory. Down the line for DeBeo. We found some space. Can we get across in? Rory is in the middle. He's good in the air. Can we find him? No, it's taken off his toe. Little might get that. No, McKay wins it back though. Joseph, wide for DeBeo. DeBeo, can he whip that cross in? Look at the, we've got three of them in the middle. No, it's headed away again. And are we going to get done on the break? 83rd minute. We don't want more heartbreak late in the game. Chima, please, please. No, don't. McKay's there. He can't clear it. And we just about survive. Let's just go back to balanced, shall we? Can we see this out? We're coming towards stoppage time. All right, let's go and close this thing down. All right, so we've uh, we've tried to shut the game down as best we can. Is it a massive win at the league lead as it is? And a penalty got the job done for us. But let's be honest, they didn't. I mean, XG and, and shots and all that suggests that they did have quite a bit of the game. But did we see that much from them? Certainly not in the highlights. It was a really, really good performance from us. We can be proud of that, boys. Maybe we can get promoted. So there we go. The other results are Goldfest and Inverness. Look at that. 5-4. And, well, suddenly we're six points off top and maybe finding a little bit of form as well. So Queen of the South, fortunate to beat our growth. Harsh. Um, I mean, a lot of this is going to come down to a bit of luck with injuries. Now, I think we've already had more than our bad luck, uh, our fair share of bad luck when you look at Connolly Lawless being, uh, being out. But... It's not going too bad, is it? It's not going too bad. We're coming up towards the festive fixtures. Then we're going to have the January window. We don't really have too much money where we can look to do anything. We have about a grand in wages we could look to spend. So maybe we could get a loan E in or something along those lines. But uh, yeah, that is that. If you've enjoyed that, guys, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Let me know what you think. Form is definitely turning, isn't it? Do we have enough about us? I don't know if we do, if I'm completely honest, but maybe in January we can get something done that will that will strengthen us, and who knows, maybe we could. Maybe we can go up this year. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll be back next time. I think what we'll do is we'll come back for Grenick, Morton, and Wraith. Because uh, that's a little bit of a gap. There'll be some festive football for us, and it'll give us a, a proper idea of, uh, we can have a proper discussion, I should say, what we want to do in the January window. And then I think what we'll do is we'll come back for the end of the January window, maybe... Dunfermline, Partick, Arbroath, two of those three probably. Uh, but that's all for next time, guys. Until then, I've been Aussieville, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.